Now, before we start with the draw commands, let's close out of the part we already have open. And we do that by coming up to the top right hand corner and the lower X here, just click on that and say no to save that part. Let's start by opening a new metric part file. And we'll go to the draw commands and we'll start with a line. Now notice the alignment lines connected to the cursor. When a line alignment is horizontal, you see the horizontal indicator. When the line's vertical, you see the vertical indicator. And when you're at the end point of another line, you see the end point indicator. Let's draw an open sketch also. I'd like to stop right here. I simply right mouse click to do an open sketch and get out of the line command. Let's go over here to the rectangle command. We'll draw a couple of rectangles. And you can draw a rectangle inside a rectangle. We could draw a circle and a circle at the center of the other circle. And underneath you'll see these little pull downs underneath these arrows. If I'd like to do a rectangle by two points, three points, and here's a polygon by center. So if I'd like to draw a polygon, I can draw a polygon. If I'd like to do one with a different number of sides, say five, I'll just change the number up here. And we also have the option to draw a curve command. Just click and right mouse click to finish. Regions are a byproduct of a closed sketch. You'll see there's no region down here with this open sketch, but with a closed sketch, these are what's called regions. Now we use regions to create 3D solids and features. For example, if we'd like to create a 3D solid from one of these shapes, we simply go up and hit the select button and then select the region and make sure you don't pick on the blue ball, pick on the white arrow towards the end. And then you can push and pull to create this 3D shape. So it notices the inside region, you could create the inside piece or the outside piece. Again, grab on the white line and create the 3D shape. And you can spin that around and see what it looks like. Now if I go back to what was the region, now it's the 3D shape and I click on any one of these faces, you'll see this arrow appears again. And what that lets me do is modify the 3D shape and make it larger or smaller. Now if you only want one shape to move out at a time, we'll go back and turn off the design intent. And now it just adjusts the one. And I can grab any face, push and pull that up or down, and modify the solid. So let's go ahead and close out of this example and take a look at how we can create more precise shapes. So we go up to the little X button here in the top right hand corner and close out of that. No save. And we'll open up a new part file. 